guys and welcome back to this week's episode from Life Builds. Today's gonna be a really, really fun video. Now last week I was scrolling through Facebook Marketplace and it happened. You see, Facebook Marketplace is the place where you make impulse purchases that you definitely don't need. Here's what I bought. I bought a timber sled kit for the KX450. Now I'll stop you right there. I know what you're thinking. You're saying, Michael, this is a carbureted old dirt bike. Why would you put a snow bike kit on it? It doesn't have electric start, doesn't have a battery, doesn't have any of those things that you want for a snow bike kit. And I, I was telling myself the same thing. I was telling myself, no, no, do not buy it. Here I am, it's in my garage. So what we're looking at here is a 2013 Timber Sled Mountain Horse Aero 120. Uh, I checked it over, all the lugs look like they're good. The guy upgraded all the jack shaft bearings, as far as I know, put a new chain on it, a bunch of new parts on this thing. The ski's in great kit, great condition. I have a fit kit from Timber Sled, a few miscellaneous parts. And what we're gonna be walking through is basically how hard is it to do this as a complete noob. I've never built a snow bike kit. I don't know what, what we're looking at here. And then, like I said, we're gonna be going out riding. In this video or the next, we're gonna be seeing you know, rating it against snowmobiles because I have two sleds right now. You can see how much fun it is and uh, I'm just going to take you guys along on this journey. Just like that, it's a few hours later and I've made some pretty good progress on the snow bike. Let me show you what we're at. So I have the entire back end of the bike disassembled, the exhaust removed, all of these plastic fairings, and I finally got the rear end of the bike off. We have the timber sled kit just setting here so we can kind of get a visual of how this is gonna look. And overall, that whole process was not really that bad. However, here's the axle bolt and it was very, very rusted in place. Probably hasn't been pulled in many, many years. So that one took a lot of time, probably spent 45 minutes on that alone. Other than that, everything seems really self-explanatory. I think it's gonna work really great. And honestly, just look at how that looks. Even without all the fairings on it, it looks so cool. But with that being said, I am exhausted. I've been working on this a bunch. I'm going snowmobiling tomorrow. So I'm gonna have to put this thing on the back burner and I'll catch you guys in a few days with the next portion of this snow bike build. Here we are, I have the fixed strut installed. I have the reducers here. I have put in the bushings in here with the reducers going in on the outside. Everything is ready. And in about 10 minutes, some of my friends are gonna be helping me so we can align this all correctly and get it ready. But with that being said, there is a winter storm warning at the place I go riding and they're getting 14 inches of powder tonight. Which means tomorrow morning, we gotta have this snow bike built because we're taking the two sleds and the snow bike out for the maiden voyage and it is going to be a blast. So I am I am stoked. We're gonna to try to get this all finished up real quick and uh, then we're gonna go see how it is to ride a snow bike for the first time. Check it out guys. Wow, we this thing looks nice. 
snow bike is completely finished. Just in time, it's the next morning. We're gonna go load up the sleds, throw the snow bike on the trailer, and we're gonna go enjoy this fresh snow. It's about four inches here in the town where I'm living in, and there's about 15 to 20 inches of fresh powder where we're going riding today. So I am, I am so excited. Finished this bike up late last night, and I, I think it's gonna run really, really well. I'll see you guys on the mountain. Alrighty guys, we are out here. We have gotten a ton of snow overnight. I mean, there's at least 15 inches of fresh snow. We're gonna be taking out this KX450 with the timber sled kit on it. We have my 2011 Skidoo Summit 800, and we have my 2012 RMK 800. We've got three of my best friends out here. We're gonna be ripping, and it is going to be epic. With that being said, let's get started. Whoop. Top handle. Three, two, one, two, three. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, dude. Yeehaw. You just leaned a little too far. Yeah. <laughs> I was. I didn't have enough speed for when I was trying to turn. <laughs> oh. My whole face. You're gonna get a great clip of me going face first into the snow. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's gonna be funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've been riding for a while and uh, the exhaust fell off on the KX, but it was just a loose exhaust clamp. So we just, I rode back in about three miles, got some tools and then Colby's getting started up. It's a little cold out here. Garrett, how are you feeling today? Great, exhausted, but good. <laughs> Hey Garrett. <laughs> I'm stuck. You're stuck? Well, I'm stuck and Colby's stuck, so we'll come to you when we get there. Garrett, you want to tell us what happened here? Not really. Oh, <laughs> uh, we got out. Now we're here rescuing the old Garrett. Oh my gosh, this is deep. Uh. Go ahead. We're gonna see if Colby can ride it out. So deep. Dude, it's so deep. No way. No way he makes it out, but we'll see. That's worse. We got Garrett out. Garrett, how deep do you think it is over there? At least four and a half. Four and a half feet all. or more, yeah. Fresh. How? Colby, how is today going for you? Much better than last time. He is ripping so hard on the snow bike. Oh, no. 
no. Well, I'll come over and help you. Let me see if I can get myself out. I don't know. Oh, ho, this trench is like four feet deep. Damn. Oh, I'm exhausted. Well guys, one of the worst possible outcomes to today has happened. We uh, trenched the snow bike all the way out to here. The farthest sled is about 100 feet that way. Going really well, and the kickstand fell off. Kickstarter. Kickstarter fell off. And this head bike has no electric start. We have no way to start it. So we're hoping we find that kickstart, or this is going to be a very long day. Day three and we're still out here. We've resorted to starting a fire to stay warm and to hopefully melt away the snow to find the Kickstarter. We've got some gasoline and some matches, but hopefully this wet moss will do. <laughs> Garrett's out there collecting firewood. We are, fingers crossed, we find this freaking Kickstarter because that's, I just trenched this out trying to get in. Got the sled in here. Oh boy. Oh, that's good. That's good. Dude, I'm trying to have a bonfire. Too bad I can't eat carrots. Fuck. Yeah. Try using your zipper. No. Here you go. Or you could just put it next to the exhaust. Uh-oh. Is the box wet? It's just not working. Okay, fire is a no-go. The matches were very, very wet and we tried everything. We even tried heating the motor up to like 150 degrees and trying to lighten them on that. Did not work. So now we have to flat tow this sled, flat tow the KX, hopefully a couple hundred feet and then we can pop start it. We'll just have to see how that goes. But not how we wanted the day to end, but you know what? We're having a great, great time and some of the best snow we've ever ridden. So you win some, you lose some. All right, we're gonna be towing with the sled. You're going to want to sit down so you can stabilize. We're going to sink it? Yeah, we're going to sink it. You're Just try. Go out and then come back and go out. And Alrighty guys, you can't see it, but Colby got the bike running. We pulled it behind this sled, got her pop started, and we're heading home. Just like that, we are back at the trailer, and what an epic day that was. We determined that there's about four and a half to five feet of powder, which is the most snow I've ever ridden in. Uh, we were hip deep all day, and that was, that was awesome. If it hadn't been for the stupid Kickstarter falling off, 
we would have ridden for hours and hours more but it's okay we had a great time and with that being said, I'm gonna catch you guys next week with a brand new video. So make sure to smash that subscribe button, like that, like this video, and I'll see you next week.